Would ya look at the time? It's time for another video. Good day to you, my fellow adventurers throughout time and space. It is I, the Cowardly Time Lord, welcoming you back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. in the game. Why? Why does no one have the money? How could a kid make it to the finals? <laughs> it's rigged, I tell you, rigged. Stop yelling so much. Why don't you bet on Ryu next? Also, just because I want to show you this, this is when, it, like, if you if you use Nina's magic on someone, it'll either pop up with that or question mark. What? <laughs> it's funny, I think. Maybe I've got a twisted sense of humor. My stomach could be rumbling. All the sh all the restaurants are closed. That's why I am hungry. It's hard to get food these days. I'm fat, but I'm hungry. I can really stand to lose the weight, though. I'm starving. I am I I'm looking at my face and reflection and I look like death when I'm over. Anyways, um let's continue on with the story here. Are you ready? Yep. Ready as I'll ever be. Welcome to the finals. A one on one match between the team leaders. Please wait here until your name is called. What is it, Gar? <laughs> what would you do? What? What would you do if someone caught on to us, huh? <laughs> that kid I'm going to be fighting. Where did he come from? How did he get so strong? <laughs> well, it's like this. <laughs> he looks like any other kid, but he's really a dragon. <laughs> hey, he's nothing for you to worry about. <laughs> right? I mean, he's just a kid, yeah? <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> Do you think maybe you are here scared? <laughs> Whoa, hold on. It was just a joke. <laughs> now, now, Gar. <laughs> He's just telling you to be careful, see? A dragon. Are you serious? Yeah. But, like we said... Nothing for you to worry about, right? Uh, 
Now pay attention to the crowd when it pans uh, a bit. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. Today's big event, the world famous contest of champions, final match. First, here's our challenger. Believe it or not, our challenger today is a child. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our Superboy Ryu. Right there, Chun Li, I think. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's a thing in the crowd. And then, and in this corner, the one and only, the Wings of Death, the Master of the Blade. The champion of champions, Mr. Dynamite Gar. And then there's there's person. Well, I'm just or something because this is a Capcom game after all, and we have Ryu. <laughs> Ryu, let me tell you one thing. Don't hold back. If you don't fight with all you've got, I'll kill you. Did you hear that, ladies and gentlemen? The champion gives no quarter, even against a mere child. This is going to be a showstopper of a fight, folks. Without further ado, allow me to present to you the final match of the Contest of Champions. Ready, fight! Ding, ding, ding. Now this fight is unwinnable. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna try and get the unique dialogue where it happens if you manage to last long enough. Mm. Let's finish this. I actually managed to get to the special point, but watch this. <laughs> and so, the mighty battle waged by these mighty warriors comes to a finish. And the victor is our champion, the undefeated, the champion of champions, Mr. Dynamite Gar. Congratulations, champion. And now, Mr. Gar, we're going to ask you what you want as your prize. And to present the prize, here's our MC, Mr. Balio.
I can ask for anything I want, right? Then I want Ryu and his friends, okay? <laughs> what? Are you crazy? That's not what we agreed on. Was I mistaken? I thought the winner of the contest of champions was awarded whatever he wanted. No. If that's the case, maybe I could take your life. Yes? To the champion car, we award Ryu and his friends? I guess? Ryu, you're awake! I held back on purpose. Yeah, that 700 and something damage says otherwise, Gar. I'm glad he's alright. So now I'm going to take care of you, understand? Hmm. That's right, there's one more hostage, isn't there? Gar's voice is gonna change the most, so he's... What... what voice would come out of him? This is the question. We should go too, don't you think? Now, this is the final time the, that we can go anywhere in the arena. The arena is shut down from now on out. As soon as you leave, the arena is shut down for good. So I might as well show you one thing that I didn't cover in previous videos, which is the item shop. Also, there's the inn, and that inn is overly expensive. But this shop is only one of two in the entire game that I can think of that sells multivitamins. It's not worth it. <laughs> Yet. Yet. So yes, now we leave the arena. It was fun while it lasted. Give my last few zennies out of these suckers. <laughs> these are... These kids are mine now, right? I'm taking them with me. Pekka is back, yay! I can do whatever I want with something. That's mine, right? Alright, kids, you can all go now. So that's that. Hey, bro, what's going on? <coughs> Beats me. I don't know what Gar is up to. Do you think Gar turned on us? <laughs> if so, things could get a little messy. We can't just let them go. <laughs> Not after all they put us through. <laughs> Why did you help us, Mr. Gar? <laughs> because. There's an ancient race that possesses an indomitable power called the Brood. I helped you because Ryu 
Ryu is brood. Ryu. I won't ask for anything in return, but if you want to know more about your kind, the brood, there's a place east of here called Angel Tower. Go there, I'll be waiting for you. Except it gets weird because... I was switching it back in a little bit. I just put Peko in for a minute. But it's weird because, um, once we finally arrive at Angel Tower, we can't enter without, um, you know, our... We... You, you can't do any of Angel Tower without... Yeah, Gar's our next party member. And it's like... But you made it seem like we could make it to Angel Tower without Gar, but no. No, we can't. I mean, it doesn't specifically do anything story-wise. Well, except for the final thing where it's like, he talks to the guy and gets you the permissions. To enter. Shut up! Your blathering kept me from seeing the contest. Yeah, these are different ones than the two, whatever. See, I told you, I told you Gar would win. Yeah, they're a reference to Breath of Fire 2, which I've never played. I really need to play that. Also, Foul. You, you could have, I could have gone to see him any time, but he's in here. This guy says, I hear the champ Gar comes here a lot. Okay, so I let a couple of kids row I So, uh, uh yeah, could. <laughs> We'll be coming back to see Fowl very shortly, actually. Because he is a master. Master of alcoholism. And also... People, like, put Pecco under Fowl. And it absolutely... Um... Well... That's a good way to make Pekko the ultimate hero, as it were. But, um... Nah. I just don't use Pekko enough to care. Now, this is the reason why we came here with Pekko. You found the flower jewel. Don't sell it. No matter how... If you are on money right now, don't sell the flower jewel. In. Let's head across the Makius Gorge. Can't believe I'm doing that, but yeah. It's for the best, Momo. Because as you kind of saw in the contest of champions, Gar does not have a very good hit rate, and he's about to join the party as soon as I take a couple more steps forward. Well, kind of. But first, we have to go through a fight. <laughs> Ryu. <laughs> I've got to hand it to you. <laughs> You're one heck of a kid. <laughs> I never would have thought you'd give us so much trouble. 
We've called in all our men from around here. <laughs> You won't get away this time. <laughs> get him. Shit, I didn't put on defensive formation. That's not good. Yeah, I'm just gonna use Momo to quake this entire fight. Shouldn't take too many turns of quaking. Yeah, um, the reason Momo just took so much damage there was because, well, you know, lowered fire resistance because of the master that Momo was under. <laughs> These brood are really something. Hey, Sunder. <laughs> <laughs> but he can keep it up forever. <laughs> we still have plenty of men behind you. <laughs> them? Th them? They were in my way. Gar is brutal. There's no denying that. <laughs> what? Hey, Gar. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? <laughs> Why would you betray us to help these kids? <laughs> That's my business. Anyway, I thought I told you to leave them alone. Looks like you betrayed me first. No. Gar, join the party. Please choose three party members. Defensive. Sorry, just yeah. Gar, the boss isn't gonna going to let you get away with this. <laughs> so, I don't care about your boss or what he thinks. I see. All right, then. We'll settle this here and now. It looks like the time has come to show them our true power, my brother. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're gonna... <laughs> You're all dead. <laughs> Stallion Metamorphosis. 
No one has seen us in this form and lived to tell the tale. Exterminate! Yep, that seems right. Okay. Killing her real dark. Oh, well this video is already kind of long, isn't it? Um, well, extra long episode today, I guess. Not necessarily my intent. Ooh, magic ball. How much is... Ooh, meditation magic ball. That might do a lot of damage. Hmm. Forty three is the regular attack more strong. Yeah, this is what you need to look out for with them. Yeah, this boss has really high defense. The other um, strategy that can work with this boss fight is... Rather than um, doing defensive formation, go into attack formation, Ryu in the front, that can deal some damage. But yeah, this is a really tough boss battle. <laughs>
Oh dear. Oh dear. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, if you struggle with this fight, that's perfectly normal. Like any other boss fight, it ends. Yeah, I need to switch Ryu's master soon. <laughs> Very soon. Eesh. His AP is going up so slowly. Thank you, Gar. Think nothing of it. I was planning on breaking off from them anyway. More importantly, once we've taken the princess back to Windia, you must come with me to Angel Tower, Ryu. Wait a minute. Ryu's looking for some missing friends of his, named Tipo and Ray. Something tells me you won't find them alive. Gar, how can you say that? You know who you're dealing with, don't you? They're the kind of people who will kill anyone. 
The only reason Ryu was alright was because of his power. Or am I wrong? First, we should go to Windia. We need to get permission to cross the bridge anyway. Why didn't Gar just join the party right from the get-go? From the get-go? Anyways, come down here. What's that I spy? Ryu, here's the voice of the brood sealed in the chrism. You found the frost gene. Remember this house for later. Yay. Yep, we're as powerful as we can be right now. <sighs> Actually, no. We're not heading into Windia next time. We're heading up here. This is something I don't usually do, but that's not until the next episode. Because, wow. Wow. Just wow. Ooh, people. Peoples. Also, I need to switch Pekko in. Kuru, kuru, pookie, kuki. What'll Pico do after we get to Windia? <laughs> the Eastern Lands. My father used to go there often to get machines and parts. It wouldn't hurt to go take a look myself. Yeah, almost. Yeah. I know they're alive out there somewhere. I can feel it. You should probably go with Gar to the eastern lands to look for them. It's weird. I don't know. You've heard about the ancient War of the Dragons, right? Well, Angel Tower played a big part in that war. I, I want to spoil what the part Angel Tower played into the war so much. But I won't. Pecco. Rarely. Do, do, do. Rest. Anyways, this looks like a good place to end off for today's episode. So, this is the Cowardly Time Lord signing off and saying, Have a good day. Whatever time it is, wherever you are, bye-bye now.